was when I went to Oxford about the age of 19, 20. I became a convinced atheist, not someone who didn't, wasn't sure whether there was a God, but one who was certain there wasn't. And it took God the next 14 or 15 years to drag me back to faith, screaming and kicking every inch of the way, go away, leave me alone, you don't exist. But you know, he's bigger than we are. And there came a time in my mid-thirties when I knew that I had to do something about the faith to which I was being called. And although I was brought up as an Anglican, for some strange reason, I knew that I had to become a Catholic. None of that made any sense. And I was scared to go to my local Catholic priest and tell him what was going on. I was scared of getting a sort of Catholic equivalent to the Reverend Ian Paisley, who would be so bigotedly Catholic that he would have put me off for life. And I talked to a cousin of mine who had converted to Catholicism 30 years before. And she suggested that I talk to the Jesuits. I said to her that I had met when I was at Oxford. I'd been introduced to the chaplain there. It was a wonderful priest. And if I knew I knew where he was, I would go and see him. I didn't know his name. I couldn't remember his name. I knew it began with H. That was about as far as I could go. So she recommended the, uh, the Jesuits. And when she went home, she talked to her parish priest and he sent for, uh, from the directory, which covers all the parishes in London, uh, all the names and addresses of the parishes. And naturally, of course, I did nothing about it and the time went by. And there came a night where I knew that I had to do something about it. And of course, I'd forgotten where these wretched Jesuits were. So I got out this print from the directory, and it was by parish. My very first parish was Acton, and the next parish was Bayswater, which is where I was living, right on the front page. And I just had a curiosity, looked, and found that the parish priest I was scared to go to was the parish priest that I'd known in Oxford all those years before. And you are left with a feeling that somebody is directing the process and it's no longer in your hands. So the very next day I went to see him. He was of course away, um, but then God plays those sorts of tricks on you. 